Okay, I'm uh, going to walk you through how to install the SAT ACT DVD to a PC. I'm running Windows 7, so this will show you how to take the disk and install the DVD into onto your computer. So the first thing you do obviously is put the disk into your drive, close the drive and it will your computer will spin up the disk it will start to read it and depending what your settings are on your computer it will either automatically launch the disk and install everything and if it does that you're probably not having an issue so you don't you aren't watching this but if your uh, computer is set to do what mine does which is uh, pop this up and ask you okay I've seen I've got this disk now what do you want me to do with it then you have some options here so um, it's really quite straightforward uh, once you understand what it's doing there are on that disk there is a file called run auto run uh, actually the file is called auto run.exe and your system is saying what do you want me to do do you want me to run the auto run.exe on that disk or do you want me to just open up um, that DVD and show you what's on it? Um, so the DVD in my computer is in drive D. If I were to click this, it would open drive D and show me the files that are on that disk. Or I could click just run the auto run file that's on that, on that drive, on that disk, and it would install the program and you would be done. So click this, it'll to then just follow the steps and it will install it or if you want to you can open up and here is the disk you can see this is uh, drive D and it's the power prep disk and there are all these folders and files on it uh, there's really only one maybe two or three files that are of any interest to you at this point if you were to click on the auto run file that's this one right here that you could have clicked on the prior screen and it would have run this you can do it here now if you click the auto run.exe in this case auto run.exe does two things number one it will check and see if you have Adobe Air already on your system and if you don't then it will install it and this is the file that installs Adobe Air because our program is written uh, to run in Adobe Air first you have to have Adobe Air on your computer so it will if you click auto run it will first look for Adobe Air to see if it's on your system if it's not on your computer it will then install it once it's done installing Adobe Air or realizes that you already have Adobe Air then it does the second step which is to install eknowledge.air and this is the entire program once uh, this is installed then you're then you're 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 good to go and you can start using the program so we could either manually click this and wait for it to install and once Adobe Air is installed then we can manually come back and click um, eknowledge.air I'm just going to click auto run which is the easiest and you get this screen telling you that it's getting ready to install and then it's installing Adobe Air <coughs> and then it asks you what do you want to do next uh, we're going it's telling you that the publisher is eknowledge uh, and that we are a verified publisher so it's safe to install it then it asks you where do you want to install the program and this check box this box tells you or asks you do you want to add a shortcut shortcut to your desktop I always do it makes it easier and uh, do you want to start the application after you install it most of the time when you're installing it the next step is to use it so I just leave that check marked also and this is the location by default where it's going to place it and then you just click continue and now it's installing um, obviously it has to make changes to your computer if it's going to install that on your computer so you say yes and now it's installing the program and once it's done installing it will bring up the splash screen and from that main home page oops let's try that again there we go my video screen is smaller than the actual screen so there's the top there's the bottom I'm just gonna put it right here in the middle so you can see it now the program is installed so this installation 
is asking you, now we're going to put all the content, all the videos, all of the um, text, all of the, the guts of the program now need to be installed onto your computer. But the program itself, the, the wrapper of the program is now installed. This just installs the actual content. There's like two gigabytes of data that needs to be installed. So if you have an SAT, you click install here. If you have ACT, you click install here. And you're going to need your serial number at some point. So get that ready uh, and have that in hand so that you can uh, put the serial number in when it asks for it. Once it's installed, then it, the next time the screen comes up, it'll just have the option of running. And then you run the program. And that's how it works. Um, if you have any other uh, questions about installing, you can contact customer support either by phone or by email, and they can help you. Good luck.